sis, I really hope you're ready for this. What's up guys and happy Wednesday. Today's video pretty much is just me doing a little talk about what I've done this last past month to lose weight. Um, I posted this picture right here on Instagram and it got so much attention. Like so many people DM me, so many people commented. It even like posted onto my Facebook so I had people reaching out on there and I was just like, I didn't know it was that serious. Like I knew people followed me, I know people watched me, but I didn't know people like wanted to know what I did and again not everybody is on a weight loss journey so I don't want to oversaturate people with you need to do this you need to do that but if I have a significant amount of my followers who want to do this with me then who am I not to share my journey so pretty much I decided that today's video will be me telling you what I've done over the last month to lose 25 pounds now the first month I ended up losing 20 pounds like I dropped it really really quick and then I've been losing two pounds per week since then so um total like i've told y'all before i've lost 25.5 pounds um and four inches off my waist and my journey continues because i'm nowhere near my goal but i just know that the rate i'm going i'll reach it before i even know it so i ended up writing some stuff on my notes in my phone just so I can have the information here because I know these types of videos we get caught up in talking anyway I know I do get caught up in talking and I really really want to make sure that I hit these key points for you guys so that way those of you who want to follow along and we can do this together then you can know exactly what I'm doing um and then it maybe I can help clear up some questions because when I tell you my dms were blowing up I was like did I post something wrong like it kind of scared me for a little minute because I was like what well, this is a picture that I posted and when I started looking at the DMs it was literally people reaching out and just asking for help and motivation and what do I do so I was like what better way than to make this video so that way it reaches to everybody the first thing that I've ever did when it comes to losing weight and especially this time was I got my mind right you have to do that if you go into anything not wanting to do it it will not stick so if you truly want to lose weight sis then you just need to make sure that it's for you it's not for harry it's not for sally it's not for your mama it's not for your daddy like this whole process has to be for you for you to keep it and in that sense you have to get motivated and the way you get motivated is by looking at other people's journey like at first I didn't want to post so much about my weight loss just because I was afraid that people was going to be like, oh, she's on another diet again. Because if y'all been following me for a long time, then you know this is not my first rodeo. Like I go on diets quite frequently. But I honestly can say that this time is so much different for me because my mind is in it. I see the change in my body. I see the change in my thinking. I see the change in just my goals. Like me wanting to meet meet my goals every year i make a goal and i'm like oh i'm gonna lose 30 pounds by my birthday and boom i actually do lose the 30 pounds by my birthday but where i used to mess up was i will get to my birthday ball out as far as like go on my trips or do whatever i need to do eat whatever i couldn't eat while i was on a diet and then when i you know, finished my birthday, I never came back to the diet. I always just gave up. And then before I knew it, all of the weight that I lost during that time, I gained that back plus more. So I'm just like, you know what? I just really need to stop this yo-yo dieting because it is not healthy for me. Like, it's not healthy to lose 40 pounds and gain 50 pounds and then lose 50 pounds and gain 60 pounds. Like, that's not good. And that's why I have, like, the my little fat arms or whatever. And it's because I just gain and lose weight so much. But this time, I'm working on losing the weight and then toning this up because, honey, we about to get slim thick for the summer. <laughs> but, yes, my first tip, sis, is just to get motivated. And if you need to follow any kind of weight loss groups on Facebook. You can also join weight loss groups on Google Plus or Snapchat. Like there is so many weight loss groups out there guys. If you just search it, I promise you you will find one. I'm in 
three weight loss groups on Facebook. And when I say these women inspire me, like literally if I'm feeling like, oh my God, I gotta go to McDonald's and get some fries. I use those groups. I don't use it to look at other people's like, oh, she bigger than me and don't get the fries. No, I don't do it like that. But I do look in the group and I read people's success stories and I look at people before and afters and that just lets me know like, Crystal, you're not in this by yourself. And I'm telling you, if you do that, that is how you find your motivation. Like YouTube has so many people that have been on weight loss journeys that you would never ever think of there are countless videos that you can go watch if you need to binge watch people's weight loss journeys just to stay on track sis i say do it now don't compare yourself because everybody's different but the fact that you see that somebody else had the same struggle as you meaning being overweight and they had the discipline enough to take the time and lose the weight that to me is motivation and i just like okay if she did it i sure can do it i mean you can even look at it as competition which the people that you watch you don't even know um but i look at it as like okay well she did it i can do it too she not better than me i'm not better than her but i know if she did it i can do it too so i say if you're going to even think about doing a weight loss journey you may want to get your mind right and find your motivation. So my second point of what I've been doing to lose weight is using apple cider vinegar and a detox tea, y'all. When I say that this has changed my life, the whole time that I've been on a diet, I've always lost weight, but my body has never necessarily like changed and shaped itself and my stomach's going down and my butt's getting bigger. Like it's never done that before. Like I've always literally just dropped weight and I may drop a pan size, but I still feel Feel bloated like I still have a ton of belly fat and as y'all can see from the picture that I posted my belly is going down like and I have to attribute that to this apple cider vinegar if y'all can see I have been drinking the mess out of this today when I went to Kroger I went ahead and bought a new one because I have to make sure that I take this every morning and pretty much what I do is I take two tablespoons of this and I put it in a little shot glass and then I douse just a little water in there and then I take it as a shot and then after that I just gulp my water down. And I do it that way simply because when I first started, I used to put two tablespoons inside eight ounces of detox water. And the detox water was lemon, cucumber, and water. And I actually post a picture on Instagram, so this is how it looked. So, yes, I used to drink my apple cider vinegar like that. Um, but I realized, like, it takes me longer because I'm sitting up there sipping on all eight ounces of those water and doing it. Like, I'd rather just go ahead and get it down my throat <laughs> and go on with my day. Um, so, yes, every morning I take two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar put it in a shot glass shot it and then i drink water and then afterwards i brush my teeth and that way it brush the taste out you done got your apple cider vinegar for the day you don't even have to worry about it so i really do attribute my like four inches off my waist me dropping two pan sizes y'all i was a size 22 a month ago now the pants that i wear to work is the 18 I'm wearing one X in leggings. I'm wearing extra large in shirts. Like, I don't ain't got to do this apple cider vinegar. Because never have I dropped weight and pan sizes at the same time. You know, and there is such a thing. Because when you think about being on the scale, some people lose weight on the scale. And their body never changes. They just dropping weight. And then you have some people who the scale stays the same. But their body is changing and they're dropping pan sizes. Well, thank God that I'm doing both. I'm, my scale is going down and my clothes are going down. So, yes, your girl is in the size 18 now. And I have to say, thank you, Braggs. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> but, yeah, so, I got that going. And along with that, y'all know me. I'm Detox Tea Queen. I have reviewed so many Detox Teas. So, here's another one. <laughs> this is a 14-day tea tox. And it is from a company called Herbal Frame. And pretty much they sent me this tea to review. Now, since I review so many detox teas, I would never put them in the same category because they all do different things. Like, you have one tea that claims that it will give you energy. You have another tea that claims that it will clean you out. So, you can't compare them all. So, what I do is I give all of them their own slate. Meaning, I just follow the directions that come with that tea. I don't think about it and say, oh, well, this don't do what Fit Tea does or this doesn't do what Teamy Tea does, you know, because it's not supposed to. They're their own tea. The instructions are the same as the rest of them. You just take the tea bag out 
and I have a tea bag right here. And this one actually comes back, so you don't have to worry about putting it in nothing. So yeah, I have the tea bag here, and then I just put it in eight ounces of water, let it steep between five and seven minutes, and then I drink it. Now, one thing I will say about this one, y'all, is this is the one that claims that it will suppress your appetite, and it really, really does. Um, I intermediate fast, which I'll talk more about um in the video. I intermediate fast, and I do not eat before 10 a.m. or after 6 p.m. And I know y'all thinking like, sis, don't you get the record seven? Yes, girl. So from seven to ten, while everybody eating their breakfast, drinking their coffee, and doing their own thing, Crystal can only consume water and detox teas. So I started doing this the week that I started my diet, and then and I really found out that this suppresses appetites because it was like ten o'clock will go, and I have my Fitbit set to at ten a.m. It vibrates to let me know, okay, Crystal, you can eat. Um, so just in case if I'm out in the bed, I always know when ten a.m. comes around, but it'll go off and I'm like, hmm, I'm not hungry. And it's literally because I've had my ACV, which this is also an appetite suppressant. Um, and then I had my detox water and then I drank some, you know, water cause I drink a gallon of water a day. So I started drinking my water early so that way I'll be able to finish my gallon before it gets too late. But, um, yeah, so I did that and I realized by 10, I wasn't hungry. So I will see how long I last. Sometimes I eat at 10.45, sometimes 11. One time, y'all, I made it to 12.30 before I even broke my fast. And I didn't know what was wrong with me. I was like, why I ain't got no appetite? <laughs> but I'm telling you, this is a really good, um, detox tea. Um, and like I said, I have reviewed all of them. And I say all of them is good. Whether you want teamy, fit tea, um, herbal frame, whatever you want. But for the most part, I know that this one for real, for real, suppress my appetite. Um, and I use the teamy colon tea at night. So I use that to help me, you know, stay regular and stuff like that. It's really, really good. Really, really good, sis. Like, that colon tea, I don't know if they put x lax in it or... I don't know what they put in it, but all I know is it say be near a restroom, not to the point where you're running and having, you know, using the restroom on yourself, but when it, it will... If you can't go, it'll make you go. <laughs> so my next point is intermediate fasting. I almost knocked this over. When I think about intermediate fasting in the past, I was like, honey, I ain't got time to do that. And it's because it sounds like it's hard. Like it sounds like you got to do a bunch of stuff when really you don't. I use the 16-8 method of intermediate fast, which means I do not eat anything for 16 hours, and I only eat for an eight-hour window. Now, I know you're thinking like, oh my God, you're starving yourself. No, you're not, because most of the 16 hours is when you're asleep. I sleep maybe nine of those 16 hours, so I don't realize, sorry about my phone, I don't realize that I'm fasting, but I really am. Now, you really have to be conscious of this, because you cannot consume any calories during the time that you're fasting so if you get hungry I think you can have up to like 50 calories before it breaks your fast but you want to make sure that you're not like drinking coffee with a bunch of creamer in it and stuff like that because anything over those 50 calories you are breaking your fast and you might as well go ahead and eat something because you intermediate fasting is not going to work you know what I'm saying because you've already broken your fast so in my case since I go to work at 7 a.m um and then I get off at 3 30 and then I may have errands to run after work I decided that you know what? I'm going to make my window 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So starting at 10 a.m., I eat my breakfast. And then about 12.30, I have my lunch. At 2.30, I have a snack. And then when I get home, I normally eat about 5, 5, 10, 5.20. And that's my dinner. And I stop, cut off eating at 6 p.m. And I don't eat again to 10 a.m. And there are so many facts on intermediate fasting. And I won't even sit here and try to go over everything because I'm not a nutritionist. And I can't tell you what will work for your body. Body, but I know just by me intermediate fasting, doing apple cider vinegar, and drinking my gallon of water, that's the reason why I've lost 25.5 pounds, y'all. Because I'm telling you, before it's just different this time because I've been on so many diets. I've did hydroxy cut, I've did the prescribed pills from the doctor, I've done herbal life, I've done all that, and I'm not knocking any of those. They all do work. I've always lost weight on those. But my issue is I've never taught myself how to survive with 
have those things. So once they leave, I go right back to eating bad and boom, the weight comes right back on. So this time I promised myself that I need to find a way to lose weight and still have a good life, you know, without restricting myself too much and still be healthy. So when I thought about that, that's when I decided and I started researching intermediate fasting because I said there has to be some kind of way that I can do all of this, meaning eat food and still lose weight. You know, because being on Herbal Life, they want you to do two shakes a day and eat a meal. Um, being on HydroxyCut, they want you to take up to nine pills a day, like three before breakfast, three before lunch, three before dinner. Of course, you're not going to want to eat your food because you're full of pills and water. You ain't got no room for your food. So those things like that, like I said, they work, but they're just gimmicks to get you through one of those fad diets. And then once you stop doing that stuff, taking it or drinking the shakes, you gain it all back. So this time it was very important to me to find this as a lifestyle. So yes, I researched intermediate fasting and I realized that, you know, the body needs time to recover and rest and digest your food and break it down. Like there are some really good health benefits to it. Um, so I started intermediate fasting as soon as I finished my cleanse. So again, I eat at 10 a.m. I stop eating at 6 p.m. And it's been working for me. I lose weight every week. Like every time I step on that scale, I'm down two to three pounds. Um, and me saying that brings up a point. Let me explain something to you guys. A healthy weight loss is to lose one to two pounds a week. I know a lot of people be like, oh man, I only lost a pound this week. But that's a good thing. Like if you have any of those fitness apps, you will notice that even if you choose that you want to aggressively diet and you want to, you know, make it to your goal faster, they still don't go above losing two pounds a week because that is a healthy weight loss. So the next time you weigh yourself, if you see you've only dropped one or two pounds, then sis, be proud of yourself. That's okay. You're you're not gonna lose six, seven, eight, nine, and ten pounds every week. It's just not possible. And if you are, you need to make sure that you are not starving yourself and that you're getting the nutrition that you need. And I know you're yeah. thinking you look at some people's weight loss journeys and they're like, Oh, I lost 10 pounds this week. Oh, I lost 12 pounds this week. And you're like, Okay, well, why am I only losing one or two pounds? Remember this: the bigger you are, the more weight you lose at first, and then once you get closer and closer to your goal, is when the plateau come and when you have to start changing it up so when you're your heaviest of course as soon as you go from eating cheeseburgers three times a week to eating salads three times a week you're going to drop a significant amount of weight that's why your first second and third week you can lose a lot of weight and that's why you see these videos here on YouTube like this video here I lost 20 pounds in a month of course because I was at my heaviest 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 and I was eating upwards of three to four thousand calories a day so when I took the three to 4,000 calories down to 1,300 calories and I was consistent and did that every week, the weight was just falling off. So the first couple weeks it fell off, I lost six pounds the first week and then I lost 3.4 pounds, almost four pounds the, the second week. So yeah, it started to do it and then now it's tapered off to the point where I'm losing two to three between well between one and three pounds a week and you think about it and you're just like oh man that's all i lost that is good sis you are on a good thing and you got to remember too that drinking water will cause you to lose water weight so if you see bigger numbers then that could be water weight there could be a lot of stuff that was on you that needs to come off anyway so don't fret about losing one or two pounds a week it is totally good and my next point is drinking water I don't know how many times I have to tell people that is the key. Your body is made up of so much water that you have to feed it. Like it's just a system. You put water in, water go out. You put water in, water go out. So drinking a gallon of water a day, I know a lot of people think that is way too much water, but sis, you can do it. I'm telling you. I was thinking about recording this really fun video. And if you think this idea is cool, then give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. And it's pretty much of me showing you how to drink a gallon of water in a day. If you want to see that video, I can have that done for you because a lot of people think it's hard and it's not hard I know you see all these memes and stuff where people take the gallon jugs and they mark on them and they do all that sis that may be needed for some people but it's not necessary I'm I can tell you the easiest way to drink a gallon of water day I do it every day and I finish my gallon before I even get home I drink my gallon within eight hours every day so 
if y'all want to see that video, let me know and I'll definitely get that video for you guys because it's real simple. But that brings me back to this point. You have to drink water. There is no way that you're going to eat right, work out, and not drink water and see a change in your body. There's just no way. Water has so many health benefits in itself. It helps you. It clears up your skin. and make Y'all, do y'all see my hair? Like, my hair is flourishing, sis. Like, it's doing its thing. And that's because I have literally been drinking a gallon of water every single day since January 20th. 28th and today is what March the 13th and I'm telling you I gave Kroger all my money um the way I do mine though is I actually do buy the gallons because I used to do bottles of water but it takes eight bottles of water to make a gallon and then you gotta worry about pointing this up like it's a bunch of stuff that you gotta do then you gotta worry about how you carry in the water so I just said you know what to keep me on track I'm gonna make this as simple as it is because I am a lazy dieter and y'all will see that when I do my what I eat in a day you will find out that I'm not out here making spring rolls and shiitake mushroom sandwiches and shit I ain't got time for that since I'm a lazy dieter so you definitely will see that in what, what I eat in a day and you can't tell me that it don't work because I'm still losing weight but um pretty much I just make sure I get my water in and I drink a gallon of water sometimes more because when I finish my gallon at work when I come home after I work out I'm thirsty so I normally drink another bottle of water or more water and I've drunk as much as 154 ounces one time of water and you know I pee a lot that's what I say but I can't say there's anything negative about it I don't, I'm just loving the skin that I am in and my next point we get into to the end here is you have to have a calorie deficit I touched on this a little bit in the other point and that is you cannot eat four to five thousand calories a day work out and then think you're gonna lose weight diet is 80% of weight loss it is 80% because if you put bad stuff in your body you would never out work out hope I'm saying that right a bad diet you just can't do it meaning you can't eat 5,000 calories a day and then go work out in gym for two hours and think that those calories are gone because that's what I always tell people too like when I start diets I always do start with a cleanse because there is no way I can eat a triple cheeseburger on Sunday and then Monday I eat a salad and I think you know I'm gonna lose weight no that stuff is still inside of you especially like beef and steak that stuff sit inside your stomach for 30 days before you digest it and all this stuff and think about if you put liquor on top of that and all that stuff like yeah I had to stop drinking wine Jesus that's why I brought up liquor but <laughs> anyway um yeah so you have to be careful about that and that's why I had to learn about my cheat days like Krista you can't be out here having no all out cheat day and you and baby just eating at every fast food restaurant just because it's your cheat day you know Monday you're gonna go back and then expect to lose weight like sis that's not gonna work so that's why I said I just had to I just had to really back in so you have to have a calorie deficit and people so, are different it just depends on the size that you are we all burn calories different if you're bigger than me or smaller than me we're gonna burn calories different that's why in my fitness pal or in um what's the other lose it or any of those apps spark people People. that's why they ask you to do the quiz they want to know what you weigh what your height is and how active you are because that will determine how many calories you have now my fitness pal told me that I can have 1730 calories I think it is so I'm like okay cool but honestly I felt like eating 1700 calories was a lot for me like I, I felt like I never reached those calories and it's only because I shrunk my stomach from going from eating three to four thousand calories down to 1700 calories then my stomach shrunk so it's like my first two weeks I was eating 1700 calories but after that I just went to 1300 calories so that's what I do I eat 1300 calories a day I drink a gallon of water I intermediate fast from um, I do the 16-8 method um, and I drink my apple cider vinegar and use some kind of detox tea. That is what I did to lose weight. It's not a secret. It's not something that's super fancy. It's not nothing that, you know, I went out and had to like stress about it's just pretty much when I go to Kroger I'm gonna go to Kroger anyway because I gotta make groceries you know so when I go to Kroger instead of me going and buying chicken and vegetable oil and flour to fry chicken I go in I buy chicken breast and I bake them it's just a lifestyle change and that's what they saying they're not saying that you have to go on a diet and immediately go cold turkey with everything that you're doing if you do that you will fail I'm telling you from the experiences you will fail but if you take it one day at a time Time and realize that this has to be a lifestyle change then it will work and baby has been so supportive of me because we are a foodie couple honey we love trying stuff we love eating different stuff we love 
eating <laughs> period you know so it's like at the end of the day i miss that but i feel so much better i have so much more energy like i used to be so gloomy and just like that's not the word not gloomy <laughs> i used to be so groggy um in the morning so a baby would call me and be like hey you want to go to the grocery store and i'm just like yeah, no i'm in bed like i'm too i couldn't get out the couch my stomach is too big my pants don't fit my clothes i fit i was like i gotta make a change but now baby come hey we're going to the grocery store all right i'm up and ready i'm running out the house i'm running around the grocery store she telling me to slow down and it's just because i feel so much better like if i don't lose another pound i feel so much better that i will continue to go on because you can't stress about the numbers you have to go by your feelings but yes i said all that to say my point and that is you gotta cut those calories it's 80 percent of the diet if you're not cutting calories you might as well not even do this because you're just going to be restricting yourself and working out so hard at the gym and you're not getting anywhere it's like those hamsters that just spin on their wheel that's all you're doing you'll never make it to your goal and my last point is exercise working out and i know y'all thinking like crystal you yes sis i done got on this bandwagon where i got addicted to working out and I don't even do half of the stuff these people do. Girl, I wish I would be in here doing 29,000 burpees and 7,400 crunches. I ain't got time. I keep it basic to start. And as I grow, my workout grows. And I said that to say, you got to find something that you like. Like, I love dancing. I know y'all don't think so because y'all don't, like, see me like that. But I love dancing. I love routines. I love dance practice. Like, I'm, I'm the one that play dance practice in the mirror. That's me. So, I realized that if I want to continue to work out and I want it to be fun for me to where I will continue to do it to make it to my goal I gotta find something I like and if y'all follow me on snap then you know I've told you several times working out in the gym gives me anxiety it's just the fact that I have to go into this big place by myself get on these machines and try to like work up a sweat to lose weight like that just scares the hell out of me so I just realized like maybe I need to find something on the lines of dancing so I've done Zuba zumba a couple of times and i'm just like eh, and you know it is what it is but it's just not my cup of tea until your girl found cardio hip-hop once i found cardio hip-hop y'all i do cardio hip-hop daily like it is nothing for me i used to go to this place to do cardio hip-hop in the class but sis they tried to play me if you want a story time on how they tried to play me comment below i ain't did a story time in a while and i really want to tell that story so comment below I'm going to still do it if you don't come in. But I'm going to tell y'all the story time about that. But anyway, that was the devil trying to discourage me from doing what I knew I could do. Because I knew if I found me a good workout routine. And I, my mind was already on track with eating. I knew I would be a force to be reckoned with. And I was like, this is the devil telling me that I don't need to uh, go here. So what I did, I went on to the old YouTube. Typed in cardio hip hop videos. And y'all, so many videos came up. I was like, bitch, you could have been doing it. I could have been working out, but you know, we live, we learn. And now that I know, I can spread the knowledge. So anyway, I do a workout routine here on YouTube and it's by a YouTuber named um, Fit Body by Ashley. Y'all, she is the business like i love her video she does a modified version and a regular beast mode version um she has all the good songs all the songs that you hear on the radio right now she got them things going boy so when you're working out you're not realizing that you twerking i mean you you're twerking and not realizing you're working out and it's just like dang i don't work up a sweat after i do that i even i love to let baby like touch my shirt i'm like touch my shirt she's like dang it's wet i don't know it's just they just let me know that i got a good work out in sorry guys my phone so i was like man this is so crazy so yes i will leave the link to her video below she has like a regular hour long video and then she has 30 minute videos she even has a video that's 12 minutes so sis when you first starting out don't try to do the hour long video don't set yourself up that's setting yourself up the whole point to weight loss is taking baby steps you wing yourself off of stuff that's just like smokers and drinkers you don't just smoke 
three, three packs of cigarettes for two years, three years, and then up and decide one day, hmm, I'm gonna stop smoking and think this gonna happen. No, it's the same thing. Food is an addiction. You can't eat all this food and then just expect to go cold turkey one day. You have to win yourself off and do baby steps. So when working out, don't think you finna go to the gym and go beast mode on 10 incline on a treadmill going at 10.0. You're not gonna do it, sis. Take your time. So what I did was I did cardio hip hop and I just made sure I did what I could do. So out of that whole 30 minute video, maybe I only made it 10 minutes, but I got a workout in and I walked in place the rest of the time. So I still got my steps in. I still got it done. And now I could do the whole 30 minute video and there's nothing wrong with that. So what I do now is I do that 30 minute video and then I pick another 15 minute video to do. So I'm doing 45 minutes and I've even went to the gym in my apartment complex and your girl been running on the treadmill. I did the elliptical and the stationary bike. Like these are all blessings because I never would think that I will be at the point where I can work out and really enjoy it. But I know that realistically you can look at all these videos on YouTube. YouTube that say I lost 200 pounds without exercising. I lost a whole this without exercising. And yes, I'm not knocking it. You can lose weight without exercising, but realistically, if you want your body to look nice, if you want those inches to be knocked off, if you want them dresses sizes and them pants sizes to fall, sis, you're gonna have to exercise. And I just say wing yourself not wing yourself, but ease yourself into it. So if you can only do 15 minutes, you do 15 minutes, you hold your head up high. And the next time you try for 20 minutes and you keep going till you can make it to when you work out. So yes, guys, I know this was a hella long video, but I wanted to be real with y'all and just chit chat with y'all and tell y'all like, it's hard out here. Like I watched so many videos where people was like, oh girl, I lost 60 pounds in five months. And all I did was, you know, eat lettuce sandwiches. And I'm like, I can't do that. I'm a lazy dieter for one. I don't like vegetables for two. And I ain't got time to cook for three. So I need somebody who can do this like this. So I was like, you know what, Crystal, you're going to have to customize this to yourself. So I just make it as simple as I can. I just make sure I exercise, drink my cal gallon of water. I do my 1300 calories. I drink my apple cider vinegar, my detox teas. And if I ever feel like I'm finna fall off the wagon, I find something to motivate me. Those are the key points to being on the weight loss journey. Now, from this point on, since you guys know what I do, I'm going to take you along with me. So the next couple videos that you will see, I will go ahead and do that. How to drink a gallon of water in a day, because I know you guys probably want to see that. Um, because it's real simple. When I tell you, you're gonna be like, sis, I didn't know. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna do that video, and then I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day video. And like I was telling my Snapchat, I want to do that on a weekend so that way I can really be detailed and show you guys how to read labels. Cause the biggest part of you know calories and all that stuff is reading labels because something can be super low oh, i'm sorry god dang it this whole video something can be super low in calories but then it can have tons of carbs and sodium like it's crazy so i definitely want to teach you guys how to do that and stuff like that so i'm excited we're on the journey like i am nowhere near finished y'all like yes i lost 25 pounds yes i've dropped two pin sizes and i lost four inches off my waist but since i got about 30 more inches to lose off my waist by 15 more pants sizes and a whole lot of more pounds. So we are gonna do this together. We are gonna motivate each other and if you have any stories or if you just need motivation, let's use this platform as a good positive place to come. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I don't, I don't have a fitness channel and I'm not trying to start a fitness channel, but realistically I'm vlogging my life. Like I've, I've changed from a beauty channel to a vlog channel. Y'all ain't even tell me that I was doing it. I did it. We did it. We know that. So since I did that, let's just, y'all going to see what I do daily. Y'all going to see how I live my life daily as far as being on a diet. So if you want to be on a weight loss journey with me, I say let's do it and let's be positive in the comments and let's uplift each other and let's do this. Let's get slim thick. For all summer 18, y'all, we can do it. We can do it. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow's video is going to be a very good video. I ain't going to tell y'all about it. I'm so excited about it. And, you know, hopefully everything works out as far as... Let me be quiet before I tell y'all. Just know that you want to subscribe so you can see what tomorrow's video is. And I'll see y'all tomorrow.